Okay, hello everyone, welcome to the video. In this one, I'm going to be showing you how to write off a bad debt in QuickBooks Online. So just for a quick summary, a bad debt is when you have invoiced a customer, you have tried to collect payment for that invoice, but the customer has not paid. Maybe they have gone out of business for whatever reason they are not paying. So now you want to write that invoice off as a bad debt on your books, an uncollectible invoice. So to do that, the first thing we want to do is make sure that we have a bad debt account set up in the chart of accounts. To do that, we'll click on the settings button here and we'll go over to chart of accounts. We might do a quick search here, see if we can find anything for bad debts. And we can see here that we already have an account set up for bad debts. Let's have a quick look at that so we can see how it is set up. So if you don't have a bad debts account, you're going to have to click on this new button here and then you'll come in to this window. You'll select account type expenses, detail type bad debts. In the name, again, you will type bad debts. A description is optional. And then you can save and close. So once we have the bad debt chart of account set up, we need to then set up the item and this will be used when we create the credit note. So to set up an item, again, we're going to go to the settings icon here. We'll go products and services. We're going to select new, non-inventory, and we'll type in bad debts. A lot of this stuff here is optional. For the sake of this example, we're going to keep it simple. The income account needs to be the bad debt account that we just checked was already set up in the chart of accounts. So we select that and then we're going to go save and close. Now let's go have a look at our invoice register. So we'll go sales invoices and the invoice in question here that is uncollectible in this example is going to be 1008 Benjamin Jung for 7150. So what we have to do now is enter the credit note. So I'm going to keep this screen open because we we're going to come back to it. I'm going to go right click duplicate. So we'll have two screens running. And we're going to click on new. And in QuickBooks, if you want to create a credit note, we select adjustment note. So the invoice here we can see is Benjamin Jung 1008. We need the customer to be the same name. So we'll start typing in Benjamin. There it is. We'll select him. We'll put in an email. In the product and service, we're going to select the bad debt. That's the item we just selected. We know that the amount is for 7,150. So we're going to go quantity one, rate 7,150, tab over. For GST, we want it to be consistent with the original invoice. So we'll have a look at that. We can see it is GST inclusive. So in here, we'll enter GST. Class is optional, and then we're going to select save and close. Okay, so we've got an adjustment note for 1023. That's the number. Let's go back to invoices. We'll do a refresh. And if we go have a look at the unpaid invoices, we can see that 1008 invoice has disappeared. Let's go have a look at all and we'll go find that invoice. Here it is. We'll click on it. And we can see on the 16th of 12th today, there was a payment for 197. Let's have a look at that. We received a payment. There was a credit for the adjustment note 1023. That's the credit note we'd entered for 7150. Now, if we have a look at the calculator, 
7150 exclusive of GST equals 6500. So if we run a P&L now, we should be able to see a line for bad debts for 6500. Let's check that. So I'm going to open a new screen in case you want to come back and have a look at these other screens. I'm going to run a report. Profit and loss. And there you can see it. Bad debts, 6,500. That's the XGST figure. And if we do a search on Benjamin in the all invoices, we'll be able to see there's the 1008 marked as paid. That's the original invoice. There's the 1023, the adjustment note, the credit note applied. And you can always click back in here again. You can see which invoice it's applied to and so on. Now, if we realize that we accidentally made a mistake and we applied this against the wrong invoice, we can click here. We can click on void. Void transaction, that was on the adjustment note, we just voided. And then if we go into 1008, we can now see that it is showing as overdue because we deleted that credit note that was applied to the invoice. And then if we realize, hang on, it actually was the correct credit note that we wanted to apply to this invoice, what we would do is we can go to edit on this voided adjustment note, more, copy we can see it's got a new number here 1024 the bad debts is there quantity the rate 7150 GST save and close and as we can see here just like before it has automatically applied to the matching outstanding invoice of 7150 but if it didn't automatically apply to the invoice We'll set that up now. We're going to delete the payment. So now we can see the adjustment note is unapplied and we have the original invoice still showing as overdue. So now if we want to match an unapplied adjustment note to an invoice manually, we click on receive payment. And instead of entering payment information up here, we will scroll down and we can see there's a credit note here. So we just make sure that's selected. And then we go save and close. Back to here, we can see 1024 is applied and 1008 is paid. One thing I should do is just delete this voided message from the memo here. It's a little bit confusing. So we can see a credit note there, 1024, the original invoice, 1008. So that's it for the video, guys. If you want to book in a one-on-one -on -one training session, you can head over to our website, qtraining.net.au. A link is in the description. We specialize in accounting software such as QuickBooks, like we're doing here. Also Xero, MYOB, Sasu, and so on. We work with Excel as well, if that's your preference. I hope you learned something in the video. We'll see you next time.